guys welcome back my name is Jamie if you're new if you are new welcome to my channel I am a homeschooling mom of five and I share lifestyle homeschool and faith videos here on my channel so if you are new I would love for you to subscribe and stick around for all of you guys returning that have been a part of my family over here welcome back you guys thanks so much for joining me today today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the math three curriculum from the good and the beautiful Alright guys, like I said today, I'm going to be sharing with you the math three curriculum from the good and the beautiful. If you have not caught any of my other good and the beautiful videos, I have a whole playlist of videos dedicated to their curriculum and them as a company in general and what they offer homeschooling families. So definitely check out that playlist. I'll have it linked up here in the cards for you guys if you'd like to check out some other math levels that they have as well as just other curriculum that they offer. Today's video is sponsored by The Good and the Beautiful. I am always so thankful to work with them and to be able to partner with such an amazing company. Starting off, if you look at the first course book in Math 3, it has two course books. And the first course book is divided into two sections. So as you open up into the table of contents, you'll see that section one focuses on multiplication and section two focuses on numbers beyond a thousand. As you look into this Math 3, you'll notice that there are little biographies of about different mathematicians that are in here. So the first lesson in section one is going to talk about Euclid and him being a mathematician and his influence on multiplication. So as you go through these sections, you will see different little mini biographies. You'll see stories with characters weaved throughout all of the lessons. It's not all just numbers. Uh, there really is stories involved with it that help to make it more realistic for your kids. So like I said, section one focuses on multiplication and the different principles and parts of multiplication that you'll want to learn. Um, there are also reviews, assessments, and things like that in there as well so that your kids are continuing to uh, make sure they're staying on top of the topics and things that they're learning in here. Section two is going to talk about numbers beyond a thousand. There is still multiplication in here, so all of the things that they've learned in the first section, they will carry on into the second section as well, but you're also going to be talking about um, more principles of math that are dealing with numbers beyond a thousand. So place values through millions and billions. Um, you are going to learn about some more mathematicians in here. The metric system, learning how to estimate and orders of operation. That is all going to be learned in section two of the course book one. So moving on to the second course book in math three, there are also two sections in this one. Section three focuses on area and perimeter and section four focuses on division. So this is going to be along the same lines as the first course book in the sense that it's going to talk about different characters. It's going to give real life situations where they can utilize this math. And then they're also carrying the concepts that they learned from all the way in section one, section two, three, and then four. So it's going to build upon um, the foundation that you've already laid for them and make it really easy for them to continue into math and continue learning the principles that they're learning through math three so that they're prepared to go to math four. Probably the biggest thing that I love about the math curriculum from The Good and the Beautiful is the math box kits that they offer. So there is a math kit for levels three and four. Uh, there is a math kit for levels one and two, and then also level K. So this is going to have a lot of fun manipulatives in here, games, hands-on things that the kids can use to learn. I've had people ask me if it's worth buying the math kit um, or if they could just collect the things themselves without hesitation you guys buy the math kit it is going to make your life so much easier the quality of the stuff that's printed in there all of the manipulatives that they offer you're going to want to pull out your hair trying to hunt everything down to try to somewhat mimic uh, the math kit that they offer you're not going to be able to do it yourself and so I would definitely suggest you to buy the math kit from them the stories and things that they use inside of the course books also correlate with the math kit so there might be a certain manipulatives that you're utilizing in the actual course itself uh, that it's going to ask you to get out and use. So if you don't have the math kit, it's going to be a little bit more difficult 
for you to do that. So I would definitely recommend buying the math kit. If you're going to invest in the course books, definitely just invest in the whole thing itself because it's definitely worth it. Now touching base on some housekeeping, uh, math three doesn't necessarily mean that it's for third grade. There are assessments available on their website that you can use to see exactly where your children fall. Every child is different. They all learn differently and at a different rate. So keep that in mind when you're going to purchase any kind of curriculum for your kids from The Good and the Beautiful. They offer assessments. So go on their website to goodandbeautiful.com, which I will have linked down below for you, and utilize their assessments that they offer so that you get a better idea of where exactly your child falls. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this overview of level three math from The Good and the Beautiful. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below and I will get back to you. If I don't know the answer to your question, I will do everything that I can to find it out for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.